sheer fact that the World Bank is not here this afternoon shows that they don't take us seriously. The people try to know who are we. If the tribunal is hated by, for example, Professor Ad Mataya Sen and top economists, then they may listen to. Because top World Bank people are homo economicus, and they know that we can remove them, we can't influence them, because they are hobnob with the top people in the government. That's their concern. And they're concerned, of course, with Washington, D.C. Homo economicus is, on the whole, uh, also homo hypocriticus. <laughs> you know, they say that they are to eradicate world poverty, poverty, but the World Bank is the institution which creates more poverty, bigger gap between the rich and the poor, destroying the environment. It's our job here to help changing them from Homo hypocriticus to become a Homo sapien, a man with wisdom, which they can all have. Since I follow the Buddha, the Buddha said we all have Buddha nature. Even those Homo hypocriticus also have Buddha nature. How can we do that? I think these tribunal four days can do it because we represent the poorest of the poor, those who suffer, the grassroots, the untouchables. Now, if we know how to use skillful means, we can change the world back. If I may say so, when Mr. Wolfenson was the president, First time, he realized that the World Bank must listen to the poor. They have sent people to talk to the poor, 60,000 people. They published three volumes, now ignored after Wolfson has gone. Secondly, Wolfson made all the country representatives of the World Bank everywhere, not only stay in the five-star hotels, they must spend at least four nights with the poor to learn from the poor. In fact, I told him that's a good beginning. But unless those people change to be humble, to listen to the poor, they won't change. Now, often gone, the, the, the country embassy may be happy not to stay with the poor for four nights in a year even. But there are seats, good seats in the World Bank itself. There are minority who really want to listen to the poor. Secondly, in the World Bank, there is a small group of people who have time for meditation. Buddhist, Muslim, Christian, very small. And Buffinson used to take these people seriously. They are there. And of course, when Buffinson was there, he also promoted that the top economists must have time for music, he proposed sacred music, fest festival in Morocco, and so on. I think if we use this opportunity, voices of the poor, linked with those people in the World Bank, small group of people, as I said earlier, the American empire will collapse because there are now good American people, small group of people, want to change the American empire to become a humble American republic. There are also good people in the World Bank who want to change the World Bank from homo hypocriticus to become homo sapien. And I think if we use these four days to link with those people, advertising, propagating, that we are not against the World Bank, we want to bring up their Buddha nature so they have time to learn to be humble, learn to meditate, learn to breathe properly, and perhaps they learn to be less selfish and care for all sentient beings. And I think then they will listen to the poor and we can teach them tremendously, empowering them to be with us, not only with the top people,
people in the government. I think we have much hope, we have much chance. Keep on at it. Thank you.